Hello, my name is David Kersley, a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, we will be creating display states within configurations. So the other day I was going through my closet and I noticed that I had all these race medallions uh, that I've uh, participated in. And uh, I've been lucky enough to win a few or, or, or get some podium uh, finishes along the way. And I've got all these medallions just laying around in this box in my closet. And I thought, oh, it'd be kind of cool to get these displayed up on a wall. And so I thought, okay, so what I did was I created a base part. And if I go back over to my feature tree, I, I started out with just a base plate and uh, made it just a, a, a square, center rectangle about the origin. And I did a hanger base and it created the arm, did a swept arm. And so it looks like this. And I knew that I had a, a distance. Uh, so I created a little transition. And from here to here, I knew I needed about 1.5 inches because that seems to be about the width of the lanyard that the medallions are hanging on. And then I just fill it in this guy, make him nice and soft, uh, make it easy for 3D printing. And plus, it'll look a little better. And then I did a pattern of the hinges. And for those of you that have done the essentials class, you can pattern um, the, the same seed in two different directions using two different lines of reference. Uh, we did that with like an electrical outlet, if you recall. And then I just used Hole Wizard to punch these uh, four corners in quarter, uh, for a quarter inch screw. And under my configuration manager, I've already gone ahead and created a couple configurations. And this 140.6, 70.3, 26.2, these are all referencing uh, the distance and the mileages that, that I've done over the, for the event. So I wanted to kind of categorize the medallions that are hanging up on a wall. And so let's create a configuration. And let's add a configuration. And we're going to call this one SBR for swim, bike, run. We're, we're just going to make it for triathlon. And I'm going to suppress this, make sure this is checked. I don't want this pushing back to the main part or the other configurations. And, and when we do this, we're, we're creating configurations uh, of the part, right? So if I want to change the physical characteristics of this part, I can do this within this configuration. But a display state allows me to change the physical appearance of the part. It doesn't affect and create a new configuration within it. And um, you say, well, where do I create that? And at the very bottom of your screen, there's display state. So if I right click on display state and I hit add display state, I can create a display state. So if I click on display state two, and uh, maybe we want to put a, a black background on this guy, things like that. But first I want to put some text on here. So let's, let's go back just a second. And I'm going to roll this back here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to sketch on this face. Now, again, when we created our base plate, I created a sketch and a line I want to go back and reference. So I'm going to turn this sketch on and now I can see this line. So I'm going to click on this face, sketch, and I'm gonna pick on my text icon up here at the top of the screen. And I'm gonna pick this line as my for my guide curve right here. I'm gonna run the left side on my feature manager. I'm gonna pick this line here from that original sketch. And the text is just gonna be swim, space, and a dash, and a bike, space, set, space, run. All right. And in this case, I'm gonna uncheck document font because I have a specific font that I wanna use. So I'm gonna pick on the font right here button. And that puts me into all these fonts that are inside of your uh, 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 your Microsoft, and they're actually pushed into uh, your SolidWorks. So I'm going to type in Impact, I-M-P, and you'll notice that the font Impact comes up. So I click on Impact, and I don't want a point type. I want a unit type. So I want this to be a specific height, and I'm going to type in 1.5 here. So now my text is going to be 1.5 inches, and I'm going to say OK. And notice how Swim, Bike, Run now appears there in a little blue. And I'm going to hit my OK. I'm going to hit Features. I'm going to hit Green Check, OK. And I'm going to hit Extrude Boss Base. And then I'm going to default 100,000th of an inch. And that's the same as what I did on the other ones. So I'm going to turn that sketch off. And now I've got Swim, Bike, Run. And so if I go back over to my configuration here, I've got this configuration and Swim, Bike, Run there. So let's make this have a, um, um, let's do a, a, a red background. So I'm going to just drag and drop this over here from my appearances. And when I drop it, I'm going to say flat hanger. I'm like, okay. And I'm going to pick my body. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some of this text uh, red and some or some of it blue and some of it white. So let's do, uh, I'm going to pick on these flat faces here and uh, real quickly kind of grab and show you how easy this is going to be. And maybe we'll do uh, these in blue. And if I just pick on blue, double click on it, these turn blue, and if I want this in white, uh, maybe give it a little bit of a patriotic theme, a little red, white, blue. How about that? And so I'll scroll this up, and we'll pick on medium gloss. When I do, this turns red, white, and blue. 
And so we've changed the, this display state, but it hasn't pushed over to my other configuration. So if I go back to my other configurations and I pick on 140.6, this is my Iron Man 140.6. And you see, I created this text as in white and made that one red. And I have display states for each one of these. And then I go to display state or the configuration 70.3. And I've got just a gray. And then I created a red configuration with black text. And I just kind of played around with these and what this does is allows me to go ahead and print these out in some pretty cool colors. And the next thing I have to do is get a bunch of these printed out and hung up on the wall. And, and so I can display the, um, the, the medallions properly. And uh, so I hope you have a little fun with this and I hope you kind of saw a little problem and a solution. And uh, I hope you learned a little bit about the difference between configurations and display states. This has been David Kersley with Go Engineer. And uh, if you found this tutorial help helpful, please check us out at Go Engineer or our YouTube library or visit our website and enroll in classes near you at goengineer.com.